Man, this looks like I'm inside of a transformer. This, oh, is this, did they miscut these vents? What is that? Huh, well, I guess I'll have to show you. Hey, what's up, it's Christian. So, I'm gonna walk up onto this 97 by 92 ramp door of the brand new East to West Alta KTH 2400. This is a king bed travel trailer toy hauler where, like I said, 97 by 92 ramp door, 3,000 pound load capacity, 1,500 pound when you got the smart deck, and it's got the Gerard scissor arm awning here with the led light strip i love that because it gives you some a little additional protection from the sun gives you an outside porch because to me toy haulers are the most versatile things on the planet and got the more ride suspension there got the three season doors on this and i got to tell you uh for a patio door on a travel trailer toy hauler that is extremely unique because usually you just get the curtain with like the little fly zippers and the vents and stuff like that this one you at least got the glass and you got the bug shield Walk up the dovetail into my 13-foot garage, and I see my buddy Todd Grubb. How are you, sir? Todd, what's up, baby? Y'all just hanging. Dude, I got to tell you, the uh, 2400 KTH is an awesome, awesome floor plan. Brand spanking new for 24, uh, and toy haulers are new to the Alta lineup, right? Yeah, yep. we actually launched this at the expo last year. Okay. Toy haulers yeah. are new for us, but yeah, and we have a new model coming as well. Dude. I got to tell you, I, I love it. And we're going to get more to the garage here in a second, but I, I want you to explain something to me. Mm -hmm. um, this kitchen. Yes, sir. We have the nice 16 <clears throat> inch graystone oven, recessed cooktop, three burner with the LED lights on there. And then I, I think your guys maybe miscut the, uh, miscut the vents back here. Yeah, that does look, kind of look that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but actually that was intentional. That That's a knife block that allows you to put different size knives into it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. I wonder because I walked in, I was like, um, <laughs> yeah. your eye just instantly was like, wait a minute, those lines aren't right. Right. That's a knife block. It is. Yeah. Okay. It's All nice right. and deep, so you can you know put full size knives down in there. You know what? That's actually a really nice way of maximizing the space back there. And hey, if, if you got ideas of how to maximize space, if you got questions, things, thoughts, comments, likes, dislikes, leave them down below. And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. Now. It, Todd, two things. Mm -hmm. Number one, the height on this. Right. This doesn't feel like the standard travel trailer toy hauler to me. Yeah, well, it's a 101 inch wide body. So okay. it gives us a little extra width. That's why it feels so roomy in here with no slide. Yeah, with no okay. kitchen slide. Yeah, no yeah. kitchen slide. You still get almost 74 inches. It's like 73 and 7 eighths between the kitchen and the wall. Okay, so that's wide uh, on the first side by side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 72. Yeah. The, most of them, at yeah. least the two person ones for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely do a couple motorcycles and whatnot kayaks mm -hmm. yeah i mean the bikes the whole nine and i noticed uh right here you got the rubberized diamond plate uh this to me is also a nice upgrade for safety because if travel trailer toy haulers or toy haulers in general a lot of people now call them bunk haulers right are the most versatile rvs out there on the marketplace because as you can kind of see what we have right here i mean look you and your family you and your loved ones this could th this is your dining area this is your gaming area. This is your entertaining area. You got plush, comfortable. De these are overstuffed too, man. Yeah, they're pretty good. I like it. And, and what's the color scheme for this this year? Um, it's called Amara Stone. Amar Amara Stone. Amara okay. Stone. Yeah, it's man. brand new for this year. So um, got new Leno, new fabric, um, you know, new, new graphics package, mm -hmm. re redesigned front cap on the... Oh yeah, we're gonna Front see that the outside because that thing looks sweet. Yeah. Well, actually, you can probably see it. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah, right there behind us. So we're actually in the east to west Alta plant because these are just coming off of the production line. And Todd was nice enough to let me come up so you could see them first. We wanted you to kind of see what I get excited about, which is the new changes for twenty four. Happy Jack bed system. So I got a nice big bed up here, and of course the couches double as a bed too. They just fold over uh, on both sides. The legs come down. And then you got yourself a bed. But when it's time for storage, they fold up, 
the system raises them up. This bed comes up to about here. And the thing that I like about the height with this one, I, I got it like a fifth wheel height. Sure. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah. Cause we're over, we're over 11 feet high. Yeah. Well, it's 96 inside. Right. Uh, and it's, okay. Yeah. So, so we're like 12 up top. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What's great about that is two things really. Um, if you've never had a travel trailer, you never had a fifth wheel or you you've had either and you want to upgrade. <laughs> A lot of people don't realize they can get something like this because we're only 7,300 pounds dry. We're not even 28 foot long in this one. Right. Yes. And can sleep four, six easy. Six adults easy. Yeah, six adults super easy. Uh, and we got three season doors. We got nice cross flow windows. We got the awesome kick out captain's chair recliners here under a huge panoramic window. Uh, and up top, Ryan, come here and check this out. Flip around, look at this. I love the smoked glass. That little bevel touch that's on here, that little graphic touch that's on here. I, I, the, the clear to me is okay when it's frosted, but you guys put the smoked glass in there. Uh, shaker style cabinet, solid wood construction. I got my controls for my bed there, mushroom lights, 110 outlets. And this is a graphite composite floor on this one too. It is, yes. All our toy haulers come with uh, uh, composite floors, marine so grade composite floors. That helps with the weight. But, but more importantly, moisture. Moisture, yes. Because yeah. it, it's the same marine grade floor that's used in our pontoon boat construction. Okay. All right. Um, so it's it's made to be exposed to water. So right. it, there's no issues there with the water, moisture, or anything like that. Bringing side by sides and dripping water, dripping, snow, yeah, whatever. Boats, kayaks, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, that. So if you didn't know, Forest River also has a marine division that makes tremendous pontoon boats. Um, by the way, check out the Napolo Pontoon. Pick one up today at your local camping war. Yeah. Over here on the all-camp side, press <laughs> surface countertop and plywood kitchen drawer boxes. Solid extensions on the drawer guides. Uh, I got to tell you, the flat front is beautiful. And look at the finish off in that. It's not just some composite. When, when you're in your RV, you also want it to look like it's your home. And having that look and feel to me is amazing. LED underlight. I love how you guys put the furnace in the duct, in, like in the cabinetry versus in the floor. Right. No soft spots. No soft spots. And no break in the insulation. That's right. It doesn't collect sand and dirt and dog yeah. hair and yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Who knows or, what? Yeah, food. <laughs> Cheerios. <laughs> so, Cheerio. Yeah, Captain Crunch. All right. So I got my cutting board, drying rack on my undermounted sink, uh, stainless steel, high rise sprayer faucet. I like how you guys do the residential versus just the pullout. So that spring assist is very nice. Oversized window. We talked about the range hood and the knife block, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, microwave. And this is actually really cool, too. Yeah. I like how you guys did the diamond plating behind the TV. That kind of brings it from that beautiful, comfortable residential feel back to the toy hauler. That's right. It gives it a little edge. Yeah, a little yeah. edge. Yeah. Um, speaking of edge, the edges on this Everchill fridge are awesome. 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt reefer, fridge freezer combo. Okay. Yeah, with the acrylic front. Now, it's actually it's tempered glass. Oh, yeah, really? Mm -hmm. So, okay. So the, the great thing about that, uh, a lot of them started coming with the acrylic front, but the problem is a lot of times when you would go down the road, the shake uh, would sometimes spider web that acrylic. The tempered glass is not going to spider web. That's right. That's a very nice. Fridge. So your your fridge will look new for years to come. Yeah. Uh, what's the furnace on this bad boy? Uh, this is a thirty five thousand BTU furnace. Okay you know, forced air heat Yeah. Um, down at forced under the floor to heat the tanks okay. and water lines. And then obviously recessed in the cabinets, like you pointed out. Sure. And then that's a 5,000 BTU fireplace. I was going to say 35,000 on the furnace is big because we also got a 15K ducted AC here. That's uh, correct. Man, a lot. And that's that also has the heat pump in it. Uh, nope, that's on the extremes. That's on, on the extremes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So the toy haulers have that. Okay. I, still, 15K is super nice. And yeah. this, I like too. Once again, maximizing the space with more cabinetry and I got my command panel as well as my Jensen AM FM controls. Uh, I, I like number one, how you just turn this sideways. Mm -hmm. That's how it should actually be when you think oh, about yeah. it. And we'll yeah. see the slide here in a minute. The other thing I like is you put the gas gauge near the command center. Right. If I need to cut on the, cause, cause this one is also generator prepped. Uh, Ty was telling me earlier, Everything is set up in there. You want to drop a generator in, connections, gas line, everything mm -hmm. is preset for you. Yeah. We call it generator ready as opposed to prep. That oh, means yeah, 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 that yeah. means you don't if it's just prepped, you have to add a transfer switch and a wiring harness right. and sometimes fuel lines. The fuel lines there, the transfer switch this is there, right. and the wiring harness. It's a plug and play system. Nice. 
that I tell you, that makes life a whole lot easier. It, it does. Because running that line, sometimes having to plumb it is not fun at all. Okay. Nice. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, we got a 106-gallon fresh tank on this That's one. right, yeah. Good grief, man. Yeah. But yeah. this is what I thought was really cool. A lot of times with toy haulers, travel trailers especially, your master bedroom and master bathroom uh, are not as nice. Mm, right. It, the, the, the toy hauler kind of takes away from the residential feel. You guys did something completely different this year with this one. Yeah. Um, generally speaking, at least what I've noticed is travel trailer toy haulers tend to have a cargo trailer kind of industrial feel. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's what I was getting at. Well, we wanted to kind of bring the touch and, you know, the, the home amenities, the home, home feeling of the right. Alta travel trailer line into this toy hauler. So you, you kind of have both. Dude, I absolutely love it. We got a second AC. Yeah, yeah. This coach isn't even 28 feet long. That's right. Um, you know, the feeling is, is, okay. is a hot a day and muggy as it is here today with us. Yeah, I mean, sure. If you got a toy hauler, you're going to have the back ramp door open. True. And yeah. if you're using it, that space is going to be... Muggy and hot. Muggy and you. hot. I got you. Okay. And nobody's really happy if the bedroom's not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Well, we got the king bed and a slide with windows, balances, I got storage up top, but I love what you did here in the front cap because I got connections, USB-C and USB-A mm -hmm. charging ports. I love that, 110s on both sides, plus a 12 volt if I got a CPAP machine. Correct. I really like that, and a component shelf here, light as well as mirrored ward. Tons of drawer space, love this, but Ryan, hop in there. You're thinking, wow, that's actually pretty cool, but wait a minute. I got a walk-in closet too. <laughs> you took the front cap and really maximized the space. Storage shelf for my shoes. Uh, I got ward bar for my clothes, wards on both sides. And then Ryan is walking right into the last spot we're gonna hit on the interior, uh, the walk-through bathroom. This is where I think a lot of people will understand uh, why Alta does what they do. The height that's, that, that it's in this unit, Todd, mm -hmm. these 96 inch high, in, high, high inches really make this feel like a fifth wheel. It does. I mean, you would not be able, for me, a lot of RVs I go in, standing up straight in the shower is, is a little tough. I got the surround here, I believe it's 30 by 36, corner notches. I like the decorative touch that's on it. Uh, and decorative shower nozzles, big skylight, vent and fan. Got my vanity there with the undermounted sink. Storage underneath, high rise bowl with foot flush, and mirrored medicine cabinet. Yeah. And you also gave me space because customization is one thing that people do a lot of inside of RVs. That's right. And one of the things they complain about is not having the space to hang their own stuff. So if you got like, you know, those command hooks you want to put up anywhere, look at all the space you got to accommodate that. Man, beautiful, dude. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Um, but I got to tell you, this, uh, for me, you really put two RVs together. Kind of, yeah. You did. Yeah. Because I mean, Ryan, look. So, all right, step up towards me a little bit so, so you don't even see the garage. What does it look like? Looks like a standard rear living, rear entertaining coach. Now, flip with me and turn around. And look what we got. We got a toy hauler. That's a nice compliment. Yeah, and it's half ton total. Half ton total. Yeah, 7,300 pounds. Man, a lot. All right, let's go check out the outside. Because right. I know you got some cool stuff there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. And you know, Todd, as we walk out, I, can, I, I see the D-rings. Mm -hmm. uh, those are, that's 1,200 pounds. Yep, 1,200 pounds. Okay. Dude, for a side-by-side -side golf cart, tankless water heater yep. on this one. I walked right by that and didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, so that's 60,000 BTU. 60,000 BTUs? Mm -hmm. So yeah. with tankless water heaters, you get a shower, a hot shower much quicker, as opposed to waiting like four or five minutes and wasting all that water with the regular, uh, the tankless gets you about 10 to 15 seconds. And 60,000 BTUs is... Pretty much endless hot water. Yeah, it'll turn me into a, to a, a skin like a, rabbit. It'll be all <laughs> nice, bright, and pink right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so solid step over steps, yeah. extra large grab handle. Now, now you guys do Asdale, uh, yeah. and, and you do it right. I, I love the Asdale composite. Uh, this is a graphite that no off-gassing, no moisture. Love the fact that you have that there. 
It's uh, inside and outside. On both sides? It's behind the wall board and on behind the fiberglass. So I got double insulation. Yep, double last off. Okay, so th this is an all-season coach. Well, we call it a three season. Three season, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's got two inch walls. It's been tested to zero degrees. Right. Um, I guess it depends on where you live. It, it does, and, and I'll always say all season because for me, living in North Carolina, uh -huh. that's completely different than somebody living in Buffalo or Albuquerque. Uh -huh. Right. You know what I mean? So it's a- Because it's that, single that's pane windows. Now, when we talk about the extreme, now that's all season. That's Yeah, I got you. Uh, double axle on these with the aluminum rims, uh, the Goodyear Endurance tires. But with this being a toy hauler, this is a tremendous addition here. Right, yeah, I think so too. I mean, having an air compressor built into it? Yeah, for, I mean, motorcycles, ATVs. Well, I mean, and that's a heavy duty it, one that bikes. they could actually do the tires on the tow, tow or the RV too. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, let me tell you, this is something that we don't think about because uh, when you do travel, whether it's, you know, you go into the bike rallies, you do motocross, or you got the kids travel balls, or, or you're just taking the mountain bikes up, your golf cart, whatever, we always throw that compressor into the bed of the tow vehicle uh, or in the back of the tow vehicle. It, but with this, because I've forgotten it so many times, having that, outstanding, especially when you're getting ready to hit the track and everything's flat. Uh, exterior TV mount, black tank flush on the on the camp side. I really like that. Uh, cable and satellite as well as 110. Uh, do you guys have solar on this bad boy? Yes, yep. So 200 watts of solar this year, 2024 comes standard on all our Ulta travel trailers. Nice. But on our KTH toy haulers and KXT extremes, mm -hmm. um, you get 400. On 400 the, watts of solar? On those models. With, wow. With two Series 27 batteries. Wow, okay. I always like how you guys do storage too. But with the way this is laid out with the closet on the other side, I like how you turned it up for high storage. I could put bags in here, fishing rods. Yeah, the fishing whole rods, night. yeah. Heated and enclosed underbelly, low point drains there. And of course, this is anti-slam latches on everything too, so I really like that. Come around to the front, and this is where you can really see, I love what you guys did with this front cap. Now this is a one piece, love the LED running light, aggressive profile, and you even got the coating on here as well. Yeah, well, this is automotive paint. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like a motorhome or an, a car, it's automotive, it's painted. Nice. Um, so it shouldn't fade over time. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's, that's what they'll do, they'll help you count with the fade, but look how high and beautiful this is. So if you've been thinking, hey, we need a little bit space than the standard travel trailer or toy hauler, but we don't want to go to a fifth wheel, why don't I get the best of both worlds right there? Power tongue jack, powder coated frame, got my double batteries there. Come around and, okay, now this is what you were talking about uh, before on the inside mm -hmm. with the generator ready. Yeah, generator ready. So basically that's a storage compartment. And then if you put the generator in, you just take that board out sets on that mounting tray right there, the gas lines, the, the um, Look at that. Everything's already wiring there. harness, everything's there. That's actually really smart because with toy haulers, one of the great things about it, well, I mean, most of the time with fifth wheels, you're gonna get a generator. And that's mm -hmm. one of those things to help you go off the grid. Add that to the solar, the fact that we got a 106 gallon fresh tank on this one. Yeah, on all the toy haulers, or the other toy hauler as well. Do, do you remember the tank sizes for the for the gray and the black as well? I do. So you have um, 30 gallon black mm -hmm. and uh, 60 gray. Okay. So you got a 30 for the gray for the bathroom and then right. a 30 for the galley. Nice, I love it. Back of the tankless water heater, which is 60,000 BTUs. Spray port, 50 amp plug there. Uh, 30 gallon fuel station. Correct. And you did the PSX twos, which I love because they're independent. That's right. Love you, the way those You get a out. motor per corner. Man, that's awesome. Ladder and of course our party deck. A party deck. Just yeah. the versatility of toy haulers, man. To be yeah. able to have the space, have the storage, but also if you're doing the tailgating, mm -hmm. if you got the kids travel sports, or if you just need that additional space. I I I've, since you know we've got into the toy hauler business, I've found that there's a people tend to think of it as like it's for motorcycles and ATVs, but mm -hmm. it it's turning out that people are just using them to for camping. Period. Yeah. I mean, bicycles, golf carts, just mm -hmm. nice hangouts. Yeah. Space. Well, I mean, and it's it's your home away from home with a patio. Right. A lot of RV. The only RV that'll give you that is a toy hauler. Man, 27 feet 11 inches, 7,300 pounds dry. Oh. And right here's my fuel station. Yep. So the, the vector is nice because it's automatic, but it also has reverse flow. So it pulls that fuel from the line back into the tank. That's a very nice touch. And this, <laughs> my, bu 
My buddy Ryan called it the Costco door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh oh, I forgot something door. Yeah, it's the edge. I don't want to carry this up the stairs to load it in. Or the open RV. the back up. Yeah, open the back up. This is great because uh, I'm close to a tie down too. Yeah, I got two tie downs right there. So if you needed to unlatch something, you got the access there. If the you know beds are up, or even if you just need to hand the kid a snack. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But I like how this is accessible both in and out. Beautiful on the inside, beautiful on the outside, weighted right, lengthed right. And this is the brand spanking new East to West Alta, which means high in Italian. That's right. right. Yeah. I like that. The 2400 KTH, king bed toy hauler that's not even 28 feet long. And the best part about this, Todd, if they want to pick this up, they can get it today at their local camping world. That's right. Todd Grove, thank you for joining me on yeah, this, man. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate appreciate it. it. And hey, leave us some comments down below and let me know, what you like about this? Was there something that you didn't like? Where would you take it camping? Because we'd love to hear from you. And if you got some suggestions, hey, you've had toy haulers before, what would you like to see? Guess what? I got the man that designed it right here. <laughs> Send us some comments. I'll get it right over to Todd for you. Yeah. I'm Chris Young from Camping World. Please hit like, subscribe, and notify too. So next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. Hope you enjoy the 2400 KTH. We will see you soon.